down, up, down, and then I'm gonna fire now. There you go. Let's <laughs> get him away. <laughs> Welcome to an episode of, uh, playing Fallout 3. Oh, I hope I haven't ruined- Hello? Were you- Hello, let's go. I trust your task is progressing well. Just as you ran away. So in the last episode, it's been three weeks because I've, uh, been fucking about playing Fallout New Vegas in VR and trying to make it turn into a video. But it's done now, so I've returned. What we're trying to do is we need to go and find the Ant's Queen. The Ant Queen! Because we want to turn the ant queen into a non-dangerous ant queen that will stop producing dangerous fire-breathing ants. And I have some sort of device that will allow that to happen. So we're gonna go into here, to the door to the queen ant hatchery. I'm also wearing uh, noise-canceling headphones, so I can't hear anything. So my build is a melee explosives scientist, so I'm good with science, explosives, and hitting shit. Um, but my sneak isn't very good. That's something I'm gonna want to improve so that I can actually use my melee weapons to sneak up on stuff. Like, my baseball bat's useless because I can't sneak up on things. I've got loads of frag grenades, so we're gonna use those. And I've learned that if I hold it, I throw further, because I'm, oh God. There we go, we're okay. Die! I don't need to throw it further, throw them at my feet. Okay, let's, let's change tactics here a little bit. Okay, here we go. No, I'm out of ammo, I'm out of ammo, I'm out of ammo, what the fuck? Stats of your equipped weapon, no. I bet you guys probably noticed that I had no ammo, but I didn't. Okay, so we have a pistol. I'm gonna just take a stim pack very quickly. I can't remember how to use Vats, it's V. He leant back to breathe, and then we're gonna E. So there we go. So please let me know what you thought of the New Vegas video. A lot of people, I see comments saying, oh, I thought this was a Let's Play channel. I didn't realize that you made YouTube videos. And I think, why the fuck are you watching these videos? <laughs> Where did you come from? But yes, I do have a YouTube channel, which is linked in the description, maybe? I don't really know. So we're on the way to find the queen. And then when we level up, I'm gonna put my points into sneak so we can start using my melee weapons again. Because once we leave here, we're only gonna have people with guns to fight. These people don't have guns, so they're a bit, a little bit easy to fight. Fire at them from far away like this, and it's pretty good. I can't take the glowing fungus, that's a different game entirely. So I have some coffee, I'm having a nice, chill, relaxing time. We're all gonna play Fallout 3. Let's try it and use the grenades in a way that will actually work here. Let's give it a go, eh? Let's just throw two. There we go, again someone, it's been frenzied, so we could, nope, never mind. Useless. <laughs> so I've been playing a lot of Fallout 1 and Fallout 2. Oh, they're frenzied, so they're fighting each other. I imagine. And um, one of them is stuck in a wall, oh good. <laughs> so he's in the wall, and he's trying to hurt me. There we go. Oh, and it's the, it's the Protectotron from earlier. I wonder if he'll be my friend, because he's in the wall, so I can't hurt him. I hope I can get past him without him sh fucking shooting fire at me. Oh, it's my friend. I must help him. Go. Oh, it's the Ant Queen. Wait a minute. Something's not right here. Why is why is the Protectotron fighting the Ant Queen? Well, we'll leave we'll leave them to that. Oh, he's come out of the wall. That doesn't seem very fair. No, 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 no. There we go. We got him now. Why does that keep coming up? No. What? What? No. Where, where the fuck am I? I can't use my. Pit boy. There we go. I, I don't know what that was all about. Every time I pressed the pit boy button, it brought up that menu. Let's just use a frag grenade. That's right, bitch. Oh my god! Why is the ant queen here? What, what the fuck is happening? Ugh, it's really gross as well. Oh, it blew up that ant. Com eliminate the hive. Guardians, return to lock Dr. Lesko. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Where's the quest here? Those, return to... D optional, do not harm the Amp Queen. That's right, bitch. Oh my god! Cool, I think I've achieved that. All right, well, never mind. Let's go see what Dr. Lesko has to say about what the f whatever the fuck just happened. It appears that the Amp Queen can now teleport. So as I say, I've been playing a lot of Fallout 1, which is a very interesting game because your special stats matter so much. I put together a character that was all strength and 
perception and agility. And one minute, I just need to eat something. Uh, I am thirsty. I put all of my points into strength and perception and agility, which is all combat stats. And I didn't put anything into luck, charisma, or intelligence. So it was literally one, the lowest possible it could have been. It's in purified water, there we go. Basically, I was unstoppable. Even though I was level one, there wasn't a single enemy that I couldn't kill with a knife. <laughs> they would just all die at my feet. But you can't talk to anyone because your intelligence and charisma is so low, you can't communicate. So everyone just is like, oh, Fucking go away, you're not smart enough to talk to me, so you just have to... Some changes within the Queen's hatchery with my equipment. What's transpired? A lot has changed. The Queen's not even in there anymore. You can't do any quests because everyone you speak to just... You can't talk to them because your character just goes... Uh, and they're like, okay. Uh, and sometimes they'll give you hints, like being, well, we're having a problem with this, but don't worry about it. And then you can do it and come back and they'll be like, oh, you've done it. And you're like, uh, and they're like, all right, fuck off. So you just have to basically kill your way through the game until you find what you're looking for, and that's basically it. My work is done, Doctor. Come now, the faster you tell me, the faster I can provide promised payment for your services. The Ant Queen is teleported. Then I will proceed to my portable terminal at once and make the necessary changes to the formula. I don't know, the Ant Queen's gonna be in the way. Everything. You've been quite a useful lab assistant. I'm ready for my lab coat. So lab coat will be science and the mutagenic bioenhancer will be strength or fire resistance. You should take him away from this place. Find him a home. Okay, well, that's a bit obvious, isn't it? Okay, so I need to find him a home. What will you do now, Doctor? Well, I will continue my research. There has to be a way to reduce these creatures to their former size. Until then, I will be staying in my shack next to the Wilkes' home should you ever wish to visit. Look at that tie. The textures on that tie, they're absolutely fucking shocking. I'm ready for my en enhancements. Here is the promised lab coat. I'm certain you'll find it quite useful. Which injection did you want? Will it be the ant sight or ant might? Well, I'm not going to use guns, so I don't need perception, really. So we'll go with strength. How marvelous. Ant might it is. Hold still, please. You are not thirsty. That was, I'm, I was worried for a minute. Oh, I get fired. It's, my strength is increased by one and I'm 25% resistant to fire. That's fucking great. That's what I like about this game. I like to go through and just become as powerful as possible. And that to me was kind of the game. The story and everything. I just wanted to like progress and grow. It's a shame there's not a good story, but never mind. Special. Okay, it's 10 now. Because there is a lot of that in this game, like you can find some vampires later on who I'm looking forward to finding. And the story surrounding them, is, surrounding them is really fun and really interesting. You end up getting a skill out of it, you improve. And so there's this, that's what I like about this. Unfortunately, you're not really working towards anything because the story isn't very fun. But this game is all about just the joy of exploration. You explore so that you can explore more. Ah, no, 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 no. He's so small, I thought he'd be... Completely harmless, there you go. Nailed it. Also, we're still looking for that spinning light here that will give us the that package that that guy was talking about. Because I found the key inside the fire hydrant. So I've got a strength of 10 now. And here's William Brandis's dad. The family that was spying on them. And I know what he's got because I read about it. He's got the gun he's been talking about. He's got a, a laser pistol. Oh, all right. I thought he had a better pistol. Never mind. William Brandis' key. <gasps> In his house he had the thing that was very hard and I couldn't open. Now we can go and open it. Maybe that's where his special gun he's been talking about is. But what I can do is fix up my laser pistol for some reason. You can fix it with a conductor. That's very cool. It must be new using one of the, the mods that allow you to fix things using other items. Why has he got so much bloody ant meat on him? <laughs> Nice goggles. Just looks like he's just like chilling, having a good time. Okay, let's go. Now, I, I think I may well have missed the spinning light that will tell me... Oh, no, here it is. <laughs> this is an awfully uh, giving area of the game. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Let's go sledgehammer. I don't think there's anything in here. And in here is the safe. Here we go. Hey, a ripper. That's what I want. I want a proper melee weapon. The problem with this is it's very loud. See what I mean? Oh, and it constantly whirs as well, which you guys don't want to hear. So we'll keep that, keep that out of uh, out of current use. And there's the important thing. Naughty. Oh, it's speech ten. That's actually pretty good. 
That can make a big difference in the long run with things. I bought this out because I know. Here he is. I remember this quest I'm really well. I'm only going to ask you this one time. Give me the naughty nightwear. I love the way he's dressed as well. I should have put it on. I'm keeping it and I'd advise you to back away. So the only thing I can say is no. Or the speech text. We can try. All right, all right. My mistake. It obviously belongs to you. What? Now, uh... You just watch it, because I won't be so nice next time. Yeah, you look like a bit of an S&M kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, just keep on walking. That was easy. <laughs> there. There's his nipple hanging out. Right, so, okay, let's go. Got the Naughty Nightwear, which is pretty sweet. And the lab coat gives us an enormous amount of rad resistance. That's really good as well. I forgot to check this. So we've got some pretty decent... Items here. I've got speech, so we can drop this because we already have something that's good for speech. But I want to have something that improves my melee, really. And there we go. We've done everything except for these fucking ants. Yeah, I can't. I can't really use this ripper because it makes too much noise. I think for a let's play, it's not the greatest item to have out. We're going to go to William Brandis's house and see if there's anything good inside his safe. Ooh. That never gets old. It's always fun. Yeah, that seems alright. And then this is going to take us down to hit. And some rounds that I don't need. There's another sledgehammer, which I can use to repair my current. And a silenced pistol! <gasps> I love sneaking around. And if I'm going to have a high sneak, maybe I can put a little bit into guns so that I can use that. <laughs> that was a big... I really, really, really hated in Fallout 4 how... Let's just repair this. In Fallout 4, how you were in complete control of when you got a silenced pistol and when you got a sniper rifle. Because in this game, a sniper rifle and in New Vegas really changes the flow of the game. You can now pretty much, it creates a class, but you weren't in control of when you got that class. You had to explore and find it. You couldn't really make a silenced pistol or a sniper rifle. They're quite hard to come by. You have to really look around. Like this was quite well hidden in that cupboard. And a sniper rifle, you know, we haven't even nearly come by one. Whereas in Fallout 4, it was just like, right, I'm going to be a sniper now by attaching this scope using some tape and some glue I found. And I felt like it really took away from the exploring aspect because it had nothing to do with you looking around and finding something. You just put some points into a gun nut and then you could be a sniper. Because a lot of people say that they really like the combat in Fallout 4. And I'm going to do a video about how I actually think the combat in Fallout 4 is the worst part of the game. <laughs> and everyone loses their mind and kills me. Uh, not scotch, stim pack. There we go. I need to get some sleep, really. I can sleep in um, William Brandis's. Yeah, I'm where I'm supposed to be. Okay, now we just need to find his house. And I think that's the end of the ants. So all I need to do... What's happened to my vision? Why is this happening? Oh, I'm drunk. Of course, I accidentally drank the fucking scotch. Oh, this is very unpleasant. Oh, it's making me feel a bit unwell. Oh, we're going to have oh Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that? We'll go and have a sleep and sleep off this drunkenness. There we go. Now hopefully that will fix things. Now I have a key. Here we go. William Brandis's foot locker. Don't attempt to breach lock, we have the key. Oh, he bought a missile launcher, okay. Well for a strength build, that's pretty good. I th I th think this game has strength requirements for weapons. No, there's no strength requirement. That's so strange. This is such a strange game. Because in, in the in in New Vegas and I'm pretty sure Fallout well, I think New Vegas and I know one and two, if you're not a strong character, you can't use weapons like this. Because you can't carry them and so your accuracy goes down and the amount of damage you do I think also goes down. But they did make this game a lot simpler and remove that sort of thing. So I'm gonna go back to Marigold Station and come out the other side and see what we can find down there. Is it there? No, it's here. Sewer Way Station, I don't know where that goes. Oh yeah, we met that on the way up here. <laughs> okay, here we go. There shouldn't be any more uh, ants to fight. I think I've killed them all now. I don't know what that thing keeps flashing up is. <laughs> fucking... So much happens in this game and I'm so confused. Feel free to let me know if I'm wrong about the strength requirement thing, as you do with everything. Ah, oh, in half an hour you said one thing while constantly talking for the entire half an hour that was slightly wrong. 
and then I have 5,000 fucking people telling me that I've got it wrong. Read the comments if someone's already said it. You don't need to say it again. It's just depressing. Oh yeah, it was when I, I think, I don't know if I said this, when I moved the myself out of the car, I used use position X, and then I changed my position X using the console that made me shift. I'd say about there are about at least 100 people telling me how stupid I was that I didn't use TCL, which is like, clipping, you can clip out of things and it's much easier than what I did. Some people literally sent me private messages or direct messages telling me what a fucking idiot I was. <laughs> the internet is a strange place. So we're going up against guys with guns. You're gonna have to put up with the sound of the ripper temporarily. And I can run, can't I? I have to save Paladin Hose. Ah, it's you. I don't know if vats with melee weapons is necessary. I can't use it anyway, because I've been running. Uh, leave? I must save the paladins! Oh, this is going well. <laughs> ah! Jesus Christ, this is one hell of a battle. See him shaking about. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. I've got some healing powder. A stim pack. I think we can do this. I think we can win this ridiculous battle. No! No, 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 fuck off, I know. <laughs> okay, St impact heal over time. Shoot him, shoot the fucking mutant, do it. Let's go with this gun, all right. Kill him, it's your job, you, you were born for this. Seven, okay, that's that's not ideal. It's because I'm my perception's been lowered by the healing stuff that I use. Yes! Move along, outsider. Oh, you're fucking welcome. I just I did all of this. You'd be dead if it wasn't for me. I should have let you die. In the earlier games, I used to let them die so I could have their armor. Oh, in the, when I used to play, I mean, I used to let them die. Okay, so my XP isn't far off leveling up. So in the next episode, we'll level up. And I didn't help Brian Wilkes, but maybe we will eventually. I'm trying to think of a good goodbye. Good to see you. Good to see you.